Are you ready? I'm ready. How's the sound? Sounds good. I barely got any functions left in my life, and now you're trying to get rid of my hearing. Uh, um, How was that theme song? Very loud. Is it still loud? Testing, testing. There's no music playing. What about this one? That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, look who we got here today. We got sis here back on the podcast at a beautiful 75 degrees. I'm going to give this to sis so she can go ahead and keep track of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the temperature, sis? What 75 is degrees. What's the humidity? 44. Says what? it's okay. What's the air temperature quality? In a shed, pretty poor. Oh, okay. Wow. We'd like to welcome back to the podcast, Sis. And Sis was our most requested guest. And uh, why? Uh, I have no idea. Could it be because she's wearing a beret? Should I look in the camera? She bought this beret off of eBay. No. Not eBay. Etsy. Yes. But eBay rhymed, though. It's handmade. 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 <laughs> it's handmade. <laughs> huh? It's what? This is a really um, high-class uh, podcast. You have to hold your own microphone, and at least you got... The other junkie headphones. Um, am I, uh, I don't know, Theo Vaughn? <laughs> am I Joe Rogan? No. When you're not those people, you have to do what you can on your podcast. And what I'm doing is drinking a soda. Did you want the puff on your microphone? No. That's, I don't like that. All righty. How are your dentures today? They're about to start flipping out, I can tell. Now, yesterday she was eating gum and they were going clickety clack, clickety clack, 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 clack. Can you recreate that for us? No, because then I won't be able to talk the rest of the time. Where's your denture cream? It's in my handbag in the purse. Okie dokie. If you could just go ahead and give us another weather update, real quick. It is now 77 degrees at 53% humidity level. So the humidity is actually rising. Yes. Maybe because it's in my hand and I'm hot. Well, me and Tina put it by oh, our... Oh, now it's 58. Me and Tina put it by our private areas and it went way up to like 80. Oh, wow. Oh, mine would lower. I would go below sub-zero temperatures. <laughs> This is the first time I've been back in the podcast studio uh, since being on tour. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Sis came out to... Well, let's start with yesterday. Yesterday was Sis's birthday. Let's sing happy birthday to her. No. Don't need that. Don't need that. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Sis. It's your birthday. You're 55 years old. Double it's nickel your birthday. birthday. Huh? The double nickel birthday. Double nickel birthday is what she kept saying yesterday. Now, this is a term that's so old timey to me. I had <laughs> never even heard of the double nickel birthday. Well, it's because in St. Louis, they got the double nickel highway, 50, highway 55. Who calls it that? I don't know. I just I learned it somewhere. The double nickel birthday. For her birthday, we took her to her favorite restaurant, which was... Red Lobster. Red Lobster. And sis loves Red Lobster. And the thing is, when you go to Red Lobster, you can't take 15 people with you. We had... Who did we have? Chelsea. Beth. Maggie. Maggie. Her two daughters. The two girls. Paige. Brett. Paige's Paige's mom. Grandma. Stepdad, Grand, granddad, granddad, 
and ant. Yes. Now when you're very nice. When you're going to Red Lobster as a maybe a couple of people, two or three, you're gonna get service that is uh subpar. But if you're bringing fifteen people, you're getting service that is subpar. No, now Steve met us outside and asked us if we were his party. He did, and it wasn't Steve's fault. It apparently was the manager's fault because Steve knew he had a party of 15 coming. We called ahead and let him know. And um, as Steve was taking care of us, very organized. Yes. Very organized. Shout out to Steve at, at Red Lobster. His managers kept sitting other tables. You can't have a party of 15 with people that are anxious to eat shrimp scampi and then start seating other people in steve's section and then a half an hour later on the cheesy biscuits i shouldn't say that the service was so far i should say we overwhelmed red lobster with our size group and the amount of biscuits that we could eat they brought out biscuits but they didn't understand that each one of us could have eaten from five to ten cheddar bay biscuits that's correct how many did you end up eating about two and a half because you guys kept eating them all. Yes. So on her birthday. Even though I was the birthday girl. It was her birthday and every time they brought a basket, imagine that you're at a zoo and a little child throws a snack over into the bear cage, right? All those bears are going to come over there and start ripping that's that basically apart. yes that's what happened and hands were in the basket before he even sat down on the table right yeah and he would bring three baskets at a time and they would all be gone before you know it and that that shows you really uh the level of friendship that we all have for each other we didn't care it was a free-for-all when it came to the cheddar bay biscuits we were grabbing i saw chelsea at one point grab two at one time that seems a little unfair to me. You grab one and eat it and then grab another. She well, she two. was at the head of the table, so she was allowed to do that. That's true. Yeah. Again, I apologize for saying subpar uh, service. It was actually very good service. There was and just a lot of And the food was really delicious. The food was phenomenal. What did you end up getting? The Fancy Feast Shrimp Trio. Uh, I think think you got the seaside trio. seaside trio yes that's what i've ate for the last 40 years i can't believe that i did not remember it and the seaside trio trio comes with what it comes with um scrimp scrampy scrimp scrampy fried shrimp fried shrimp and shrimp with in noodles and i got mashed potatoes and cold slaw mashed potatoes and cold slaw and i got also got the seaside trio um, but I got a baked potato and um, broccoli. And the broccoli was phenomenal. She tore it up. I tore it up. The names of the Red Lobster foods um, are funny to me. So we have the Seaside Trio. We have the Ultimate Feast. Mm-hmm. We have Walt's Favorite Shrimp. That's That's been on the menu forever. Forever. And I don't know who Walt is. No. If you're in the comments and you know who Walt is at Red Lobster, let us know down below. Yeah, I'd like to know. And then Sis had a strawberry um, margarita, and this is how she ordered. I want a strawberry with sugar, alcohol. That's exactly how she said. I want a strawberry with sugar, alcohol. But he knew exactly what I was talking about. And he said, do you want a margarita or daiquiri? And she said margarita, and I thought, oh, God, here we go, because... (laughs) You give sis two ounces. You give her, you take a, a, a neat, uh, what are those things called? Shot glasses. No. The thing where you take a little thing and you squeeze it. Tweezers. Um, kind of like a tweezer, but liquid goes up in it. Hmm. A turkey Eye dropper, baster? Kind of like a mini turkey baster. Oh, okay. You take one of those and take one little droplet of alcohol and put it on her tongue and she starts going crazy. And saying stuff like, oh, is that guy going to teabag you? And we were like, there are children here. <laughs> and I go, what's teabagging? You know, when they put their nuts on your chin. No, on, on your, your nose. Eyes. I thought that's called um, goggles. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know there was 
different phases of teabagging. <laughs> I just thought there was one. <laughs> Again, if you're in the comments and you know the difference between g- getting goggles and teabagging, I think it's it's there's a uh, it's called something goggles, and I'm not going to say because it, it's probably racist. Um, something goggles. I've never when heard you of have that. a man's. Nut, nuts. Like what? What is the excitement of that? I don't understand that. That just makes zero. That what? makes zero sense to me. What? Put nuts on your face? I mean, where's the bee hole? Is it by your nose or on your forehead? Well, it, I guess it depends on. I'm assuming. Ugh. I'm assuming the nut the the butthole's on your forehead. Oh god, oh, that's so disgusting. Nobody wants that. Nobody's got time for that. I do. Put a put a some nuts on my eyes. You don't need that. And a butthole on my forehead. <laughs> That's so vile. <laughs> mm. So are you saying you don't like to eat a man's no. bottom? No. Hell to the no. I ain't doing that. What if a man said, I'll give you $500,000 cash if, you, <coughs> if no. you eat my butthole right now? No. <coughs> nope. I can't talk about it. It's so vile. What about a million? No, I can't because I would die. I would need that for medical expenses. What, what What? if it was a clean bottom? Nope. I don't care how clean it is. It still smells like doo-doo butthole. You can wash all day long. It's still going to stink. Then you got the wrong kind of guy that's got a stinky <laughs> butthole. You need a guy that when he washes his butthole, don't smell like dookie. <sighs> Well, is he wipe? Is he washing the cheeks and everything? I don't really like the word cheeks, <laughs> and I don't want to think about people washing their bunghole. It just—it's very disturbing. Well, do you wash your butthole? Sure do. How do you go about washing it? Put the bar of soap down there and move it up and down, and so you don't use a washcloth. No, I don't want because that freaks me out. Because then I won't be able to use the washcloth ever again. Huh? So you know, and then. Lean up and spread one cheeks and let the water go down. What if I told you that when I've been at your house, I've actually used your worst cloths to clean oh, my butthole? Oh, boy. Mm. The less you know, the better you're off. And you've probably used those worst cloths to wash your face. Oh, I've had those washcloths for probably 30 years. Okay. Did you get them from Sticks Bear? Okay, what if a guy was going to give you $2 million? Would you? Nope. And you only had to do two 10 licks of his butthole. Nope. Ain't happening, man. Ain't doing it. For two, you could nope. retire. Nope. All you had to do was <laughs> 10 licks. I'd have to retire because I would be in such a shade of, state of shock. Oh, it's so vile. <laughs> what if he spread it for you? Didn't even have to spread. That's even more disgusting. Oh, it's so fucking gross. Hairy ass butthole. Shit coming out of it. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody. <laughs> okay, final offer. Three million dollars. No, no. Just wash butthole. He spreads it on his own. Nope. You're telling me you're gonna turn down three That's million dollars. Exactly right. Yes. What if he if a man wanted you to Because lick his, I would immediately vomit. Well, that would be worth it. You have to do ten quick licks and then you're cash, three million dollars cash, tax free. If I could put, like, Vicks Vapor Rub in my nose holes and, like, put an extension on my tongue that wasn't mine. Nope, it has to be your oh. own tongue. You could use the Vicks, but not an extension, extended tongue. Then possibly. Lots of Vicks. Woo. Three million dollars. Wow. Mm. Ooh. Oh, boy. What if they just farted for $5 million? In my face? Yeah. No, I ain't having it. That is doo-doo going straight into your face. Particles, and it'll be there forever in my <laughs> nose hairs. <sighs> I ain't doing it. Oh. Oh. That's why ladies of the evening are so fantastic. They can do that with any guy and have no problem with it. Yeah, that's their job. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. I mean, they should be paid top dollar at all times. Guys love getting their booties holes licked. Good for them. You don't see them at my house. <laughs> Ain't nobody knocking down my door to do that. 
If you're in the comments and you want sis to lick your booty hole. I ain't doing it. Raise your hand. I ain't doing it. I'm just saying, if somebody offered you $5 million, I'd dress up like you and lick their booty hole for that money and keep it myself. No, I just couldn't. I can't believe that you would you would keep a life of working every single day. Yes. Rather than have 10 licks to a booty hole. Because I would never recover from that. That would be so traumatizing to me. And I would smell that asshole <laughs> for the rest of my life. Everything I smelled, it would then smell like you're that. not, you're. It's you, always going to smell like poop. I don't care what anybody says. You can wash it and it won't smell like turds. For like a split second. Yeah. That's okay, maybe if he's it. in the shower with water running down there, <laughs> I will do it. Full blast hot. And I get to keep on all my clothes. I forgot to change my shirt. I thought you wanted to wear that. No. You spilled food on it. No one would notice it. No, I wore this. I wore this so that I could drop food on it and then change it into my oh. regular shirt. Why'd you just get a bib? Because I didn't have one available or I would have worn I'm, it. We're going to get you some plus size bibs. Why do I need plus size one? Because we're wider. Why not just, I don't drop it over here. I just drop food right here. I don't think it requires a plus size. I'm insulted that you would even suggest a plus size bib. Whatever. Raspberry beret, the kind you find in the secondhand store. Have you ever been in a secondhand store and saw a raspberry beret? Whoa. Sis doesn't understand why that keeps coming down every single time she comes in here because it's held up by tape this is 3m tape this is good tape but you have to look at the requirements for the tape to see what it will stick on to not every tape is the same tape it will not (laughs) stick to everything look i'm not saying i'm a tape expert but if it's got 3m written on it i'm thinking (laughs) it's a good tape it's not just a run-of-the-mill dollar store tape they sell the um, the dollar store. They sell the, what's it called? Donkey Kong? Donkey. I forget what kind of, is a moose. I forgot what it is. It's some other kind of tape. Uh, you know what I'm talking gorilla about? Gorilla glue? Gorilla glue, yeah. Gorilla glue The tape. dollar store does? It's not a dollar store. It's Dollar General. Oh, yeah. Dollar yes. General really s- stepping their game up with their tape selections. Ooh, I want to take that piece of furniture because I'm putting that in my room. Sis has been helping me. Uh, even on her birthday, she helped me move so much stuff downstairs because I'm unable to, you know, just walk, basically. Sis pretty much took almost everything down there except my bed and a dresser. Hoping today she could carry the dresser down. <laughs> it weighs about 300 pounds. I think I'll just get a rope and attach it to my back and carry it down. Or we could create a pulley system and put the pulley system out the window and... You know, like in the old cartoons where they have the piano. Yes, that goes we should out. do that. Uh huh. So I'm gonna climb up on the roof and put a pulley pulley system. No, put the it. pulley system out out my window. Oh, why don't we just throw it out the window and if it survives, we'll put it in your room. That's a good idea. <laughs> what about the bed though? How are we getting the bed down there? Uh, we could probably take it apart. I mean, I can move a mattress any day. You can. Yeah. It's just the frame that I'd be worried about. Where's my keys? Oh, you better give the light update. Huh? The light update. Oh, God. oh, yeah. We came in today and the light was on. I don't know what happened, how it got it working. I'm thinking it was an electrical issue. Um, but the light's on. So feeling really blessed the light's on. Thanks for telling me about the update. You want to give us a weather update? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for a weather update. 70 degrees, 47% indoor humidity. I love the weather. I mean, I'm a regular Bob Bob Richards. Now, Bob Richards was a man that did weather in St. Louis, and he passed away many years ago in a plane accident. Accident, yes. Uh, Did he make his own life go away? Yes, he did. He was, unalived himself. He was very upset. Why? I think about some gal. Oh, Lord, Barbara. Jesus Christ. But he was the best. Big, we called him Big Booty Bob. He did have a big booty. Now, I didn't say that name. I think I didn't did. either. I think it, sis said it. It was mom. 
Oh, his mom. Mom oh, okay. loves uh, body shaming people from, you know, pretty much the day we were born. Body shamed us. Um, I didn't realize that's what it was until like lately. Yeah, you don't know that that when she says um, fatty, fatty, two by four can't get through the kitchen door, that that's not nice. Or the tent and awning shop. Now, I don't know if grandmother said that or mom said that. What that's did where she I get say? All my, that's where I get all my, time for a new uniform, let's go down to the tent and awning shop. Just really nice comments. <laughs> tent and awning. Now, is there actually a tent and awning store? Well, yeah, I think you used to be able to rent tent and awnings, didn't you? A tent? Why would like you a, rent a, a tent? For like an event. Oh, you mean like a big, like a booth tent? Uh-huh, yeah. But an awning, though, once you get an awning, that pretty much stays on. Well, I think because they're made out of the same fabric. Okay. Now, did you ever have to go to a tent and awning place? No, I did not. Right. That was not a very I nice wore thing. the uh, Sears Pretty Plus. Pretty Plus. Oh, wow. Yeah, and did the, you get it out of a catalog? Yes, uh, I always had to wear it because I wore a Catholic jumper, red and black and white jumper. But I had to order like the size, the girl who would be like 20 and wore that size. And I was like nine. So it was like really long and like went to my feet because <laughs> I was so fat and they had to hem it up. So I could wear that dress forever because I just kept letting down the hem. And when you would let down the hem because you've been wearing it a year... Um, the one part of the dress will be completely faded. And That's the exactly hem part, right. When yes. you flip, it would be perfectly brand new. That's right. And then the kids would say, hey, did you hem your dress? And you'd say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when kids would hem their pants, jeans? I always did the iron-on stuff. Oh, wow. You put that, and then you put the iron on it, and it seals it. But then every. People knew if you ironed a pair of jeans or blue jeans, as you like to say, back they in knew. high school days, they, that was a big thing to crease your jeans. I crease some, them? Yeah, they would iron your jeans and have the big crease in the middle. I mean, they would. Oh, take you hours. mean down the leg? Yes. Yeah, I ain't got time for that. I'm not ironing. But anything. not the cuff though. You didn't want people to oh, know the that cuff? you. You didn't oh. want people to know that you were he- hemming them. That you wanted people to think that you went to the store and bought the perfectly oh. sized length uh, pant. I mean, but that's cool. You're kind of fancy if you get your clothes tailored. Well, not if it's your mom. Well, we well no, we t- I mom always made me take mine down to the dry cleaner, Meisenhower or whatever. Mike and, and get them tailored. They always sewed up my uniforms for me. Oh what was that? God. Meisenheiser, Menenhauser. I forgot what that was called. How old were you when you had to walk down to a dry cleaner? I don't know, probably about seven or eight. Or Sis, why <laughs> did mom make you do this stuff? I, I wouldn't I'm trust a, a seven-year-old with a Martinizing. Crayon. Martinizing. That's what it was called. That's what dry cleaning was called back As in the day. As a seven-year-old, you were walking down to the mining houses and getting At your- seven years old, I was taking a bi-state bus to downtown. Sis, now that's ridiculous. To go see dad at work. Nobody messed what with me. What was wrong with our parents, dude? Everybody was doing that stuff. It didn't matter. Nobody was messing with anybody. Now a seven-year-old can barely wipe their ass. Like you're, like you want me. I know. There you go. That's why I don't do that. Huh? Lick booty hole. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Men- meninizing. Oh, no. That's. Mennonites. Now you're talking about Mennonites, yeah. People that are kind of like Amish people, but I don't know how they're different. They make some good sandwiches. When you, uh, so when you let the hem down, did you have to take it back to the Mennonhausers and have them cut the hem, or did you do it yourself? No, they did it. And what would be a cost for just a basic hem? I don't remember. Mom and Dad always gave me a check. A check. And I'd write out it. They'd sign it and I'd write it out. So as a seven-year-old, you would <laughs> take the bus to downtown. Oh, no, that's to visit Dad. Now, Martinizing was across the Hyde Park. You just walk across the park and there was a dry cleaner. I don't remember where it was. Right there on the corner down from uh, Rhonda's parents' restaurant. It was right across the park from 19th. I think it was on 19th Street. I don't remember it. Yeah. Oh, you mean on the other on the, the other, other side, okay. yeah, on Salisbury side. Salisbury. Wow. 
So you would take the check to them and yes. it would already be written and you would write in the numbers. Yes. How did you know as a child to what numbers to write in there? <laughs> the, the people would tell me what to write. I remember one time I had to go down. I don't know. I was probably at sixth grade. I had to go get glasses. Mom gave me a check and I supposedly got these really expensive glasses they were like four hundred dollars and i wrote a check <laughs> what the hell? I, hell i didn't know i didn't know what were they where did you go get glasses downtown at the eye clinic downtown mom was so mad <laughs> what you should have said to mom is well how about next time you take me to the eye doctor i'm in sixth grade well she was working <laughs> I mean, that was back in the day when you could do that stuff, get checks and just write them anywhere. Have a good old time. Why did you pick the most expensive glasses you could find? I, I guess that's what the salesperson suggested to me. They put them on me and <laughs> okie dokie. They saw that blank check and said, let's go. I wish I knew which glasses those were. They were clear ones. They were really big. I remember that. I don't think I really wore them that much. How much did you pay for those glasses you have right there? Um, I got these at the Walmart and with my insurance, it was like, oh no, $200. Wow. So back in the day, those things probably would have cost eight. <laughs> those must have been like Gucci sunglasses or something. I mean, you picked, I bet they were like, um, let's see, Jordache jeans or collection. Gloria Vanderbilt. Yeah. Gloria Vanderbilt glasses. I think she did have glasses. I think she did too. Yeah. Cause sometimes when I'm looking for vintage glasses, I'll see. Her name on there. Gloria Vanderbilt. I think she had a clothing line at a Kmart. Or am I making that up? You are making that up. Oh. Jacqueline okay. Smith from. Jacqueline Smith. Had, she had the business. So. She was from the uh, Charlie's Angels. And she still makes those clothes, I believe. Where does she sell them? Because there ain't no more Kmarts. Oh, I didn't think about that, huh? We'll have to check that out. Why don't out. you get on your phone there and see okay. where they sell uh, Gloria uh, now, you better name? take over because it takes me a while to Google stuff. Go, 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 go. Yes, so yesterday we went, after we went to Red Lobster, then we went to Maggie's house and had a cake and ice cream. And I wanted to find a way to save time, so I got a ice cream cake. Even though Sis loves Sherbert, I couldn't bring myself to, to buy Sherbert because I knew it would be left over, and I didn't want it anywhere near me. Don't bring sherbet anywhere near me. I love sherbet. Unless it's daiquiri ice. I love daiquiri ice. I've never had that. It's one of the one of the staple flavors at um, Baskin. Ooh, we should go to Baskin Robbins tonight. Oh, is there, are they still open? Oh, yes. Love Baskin Robbins. Would love to get a grasshopper pie. I don't pie. know how to spell Jacqueline, and I type Jack Smith. Does Jack Smith still have a clothing line? How do you spell Jacqueline? G, I'm not sorry, J, J-A-Q. J-A, J-A-Q. J-A-Q. Uh-huh. I, I don't know. What? It's all right. You don't have to look it up. We'll, well look I'm it up later. It up now. We know that if we wanted a. Oh, now she's on. Uh, she has relaunched her namesake fashion collection on HSN. Home Shopping Network. Yes. Oh, how fab. Now, is that with. um? The quacker lady? I believe she is deceased. Jacqueline? She, no, um, the quacker lady. She yes, was she on is. HSN. Uh-huh. You you sent me a documentary about the quacker lady, and you didn't even watch it? I watched the whole thing. My attention span is real short, so once you know I get the gist of it, I'm out of there. It was a very informative documentary that somebody, I think, made at home um, with the quacker lady. And for some reason, the quacker lady always wore headbands. Yes. I, she must have been a big sweater. But the the lady that made the documentary admitted that she wasn't really a fan of, of her clothing line. She just liked her because she was spunky. Everybody likes spunky. Everybody likes a spunky gal. And she was spunky. And she had a great sense of humor, the lady said. She'd be roasting people on that. Uh, wasn't It was not Home Shopping Network. It was QVC. What's the difference between those two? QVC is QVC, and HSN is Home Shopping Network. Right. What a QVC. QVC. 
I don't know what that stands for. Quality Victory Channel. Maybe. Huh, I'll have to investigate that. Q, you can look it up right now oh. on your phone. Okay, 10 minutes later, we'll have the answer. <laughs> I, sh- I wish I had the Surrey on my phone. Well, she doesn't have Siri on her phone because she can't say Siri. So when you go to set it up, the thing doesn't <laughs> understand <laughs> it and it hears her saying, it doesn't hey, understand. Siri. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. And I don't even know where to find Siri it. Siri doesn't understand it. I think they have it. When you go to set it up, it'll say, say, hey, Siri. So you have to say, hey, Siri. You have to say it the same every time. Hey, Siri. It's doing some kind of action there. Hey, sorry. Hello? Yeah, it just does not work. Hey, Siri. Oh, it picked up your voice. Because I'm saying it right. Oh. Hey, Siri, what does QVZ stand for? QVC? Hey, Siri, what does QVZ? (laughs) (laughs) Mush mouth. You got marbles in your mouth. It's it's working. I'm gonna. I wanted to stop so I could ask her again. Hey Siri, what does QVC stand for? Was it say something went wrong? Something went wrong. Hey Siri, what does QBC stand for? Oh, there we go. Uh, save $119 on approved iPad. Oh, QVC is American Free to Air Television. Oh, oh, it's owned by Kuwait Retail Group. So that's what it stands for. What does it stand for? Kuwait, Q-U-R-A-T-E, Retail Group. Hmm. But that's not, it's not Q-R... Oh, yeah, it does. That's not even a V. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. I guess it got me at the Q. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, do, it doesn't It doesn't say. Hmm. That's weird. Hey, Suri, what does QBC mean? Um, it just keeps coming back to the same thing. Blenders and stuff. Alrighty. I want to know what it stands for. I want to see. Let me see it. Oh, drop my glasses. Forget it. Just forget well, can it. Can I get your glasses? No. Okay. Well, do it live. Do it live. Do it live. I'm mad that I dropped my... I, I'm about to lose it. She's got butter fingers. No, I just constantly knock stuff over. It's on my damn nerves. If, if I send you to the store and I say, get me a pair of jeans. Yeah, I'll get you a pair of jeans. What color will they be? They'll probably be blue. But I didn't ask for blue jeans. You're right. Yeah. Sis is fascinated by calling jeans blue jeans. Because that's what they're called, blue jeans. But see, sis doesn't understand that me and her are old and we have to adapt with the times. People don't say blue jeans anymore. They say jeans. I said highfalutin and nobody knew what I was talking about. Because that's not a common thing. Highfalutin? I mean, Paige didn't even know what it meant. People don't say sweatpants anymore. Do you know what they say? Athletic. Athletics. Joggers. Joggers? No. Sweatpants, because that's what they and are. And they don't say sweatshirt either. They say hoodie. When if there's no hood? Then it's some other fleece. I don't know. Huh. That's weird. I just try not to say the names of stuff so that I don't appear to be old. Well, I, I really don't have anybody to... I don't know. If you were going to say billfold, would people know what you're saying? No. What is a billfold? What's a trifold? What is a trifold? The trifold wallet throws in the threes. Billfold is one flap. A trifold is flip, flip, and it all meets in the middle. What if it's a Velcro trifold? Velcro trifold. So that's a Velcro trifold. I don't know why you. What would if have it's that. a Velcro billfold? Velcro. Yeah, it's just 
You just add Velcro to billfold. Why do they call it billfold? Remember the Velcro billfolds? And every time you open them, it went, yeah, yeah, those are cool. They still have those. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, wow. I knew a man that had one. Yeah. His name was Harry. Oh. He had one for a while. Oh, wow. Where'd he get it? Like Land's End or something? Uh, I don't know, but he often felt embarrassed when he opened it and it made that sound. So then he got himself a leather one. <laughs> he could do his, sh- just, he shouldn't have just said he was doing his shoes, taking I, off his shoes. I got a roach in my ear. How do you like them junky headphones? Well, I don't like them because both of the pieces fell off. There the rubber. you go. And that's what she made me use last time. No, the last time they had the rubber on them. Mm. The Probably little- that, all that earwax made it come off. Well, they were, it was off before I even put it in my ear. There it is right there. Can we pick it up? I get it. Uh oh. <laughs> what you mean, uh oh? Watch the light go flying oh. around. She did it. She did it. I had to go ahead and tell them how I had to go pee when I peed them. Uh, sis didn't want to drive back to the gas station to go potty, so. She shut the door. I gave her her privacy, and she pee-peed in a large Wendy's cup, which brings up that I like that $5 deal. So, and then she was screaming, does anybody want to drink any lemonade? (laughs) And no one answered. No one. I didn't answer, because you know I ain't doing it. I can't believe nobody wanted to drink lemonade. (laughs) What's it? Milk, milk, lemonade, lemonade around the, the corner. corner. Chocolate's made. Except for you ain't going around the corner to get the chocolate. <laughs> I ain't getting no chocolate. Do you want the milk, milk, or the no, lemonade? No, don't want any of it. I don't want any bodily fluids on me. What if it's chocolate milk that comes out? Nope. Wow. So you would I don't like surprise smells. I don't like, surpri- you know, just surprise wetness on me. I just don't like it. I think that me and you both are what's considered these days neurodivergent. Uh, I think I heard that on Big Bang Theory. I don't know what it means. I don't exactly know what it means either, but I know that you and I both have a lot of sensory issues. And I think that means we're, let me look up neurodivergent. Okay. Surrey (laughs) neurodivergent. Here you go. I it's not moving. Well, wow, that's a surprise. Surrey neurodivergent. Where's that's some browser? kind of skin disease. Browser? You mean the Google? Yeah. It's on the front page. Oh. It's got the Google symbol. God, when you use somebody else's phone, you don't know where to find nothing, man. Mine is all jacked up, but I like it like that because I know that I have to go to page four to get the Twitter. What is neurodivergent? Why are you asking me that? No, I'm looking at Oh. God, how do you see on this phone? Jesus. I don't know what dark. that means. Oh. Differing in mental or neurological functions from what is considered typical or normal. That's just too much. Maybe I'm just sensory overload. Well, yeah, I I think that is. Like when someone toots in a grocery store and you walk up on it, I t- just infuriates me i don't want that in my nose and they just left it there for me well i'm telling you when i flew home from denver i farted probably four times and the (laughs) the plane the plane just kept recycling that fart air i think but i couldn't help it that's why i wear a mask on planes to keep the farts out to keep any bodily fluids from other people entering my body I do not want their sneezes or coughing or any of that. So you don't like farts is what you're saying? No, because it's poo-poo via airbound right <laughs> to your nose, in your mouth. What's wrong with poo-poo in your mouth and nose, though? I don't need that in my mouth. I don't know. why It doesn't, it doesn't disgust me for some reason. I don't know if that's because I've worked with a lot of people where I had to wipe butts, change diapers, and it just gets used to it. I mean, I get physically ill just doing my own. But if I smell a strong perfume or a hairspray. I can't do perfumes anymore for some reason. If I smell something strong like that, I'm not okay. Yeah. 
If I hear a sound that's very loud, like a motorcycle or a fire truck, I'm not okay. I'm the same way. If I'm in a room where there's a lot of talking and music playing at the same time, not okay. That's correct. Yeah, I think we have... You're uh, just a nervous nilly. I don't think it's nervous. I just think our brains are work, work differently than a no, normal person who can process that and be like, oh, that noise is happening, and that noise is happening. My brain's just like, no! <laughs> like, stop talking. Get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that way. I want to be patient and be able to put up with everything. I just can't. Well, that means you're a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. What are some other things that bother you that you think maybe could mean you're neurodivergent? Hmm. She would always I don't say, like, constant noise, constant yeah, I don't noise. Like she constant hears like a, noise. That just drives me bananas. At the grocery store, I never picked the front box. It always got to be the second of everything. Yeah. Because people touch it and mess it up. And they yeah. always put the old ones towards the front. Yeah. And um, I don't know, just weird things i it's it's weird but you like keep them to yourself right and i have recently because i've been on tour i think started to divulge more of my weirdness just Mm -hmm. because i i'm tired of bottling it in and now every time i say it i kind of regret it because i'm like man they probably think i'm fucking nuts (laughs) but we're all nuts and your sign's about to fall again here in just a few seconds storage i don't like people telling me what to do as i'm doing it you go okay it doesn't make any sense to me you mean like if you're uh hanging up towels and somebody says hey hang up those towels yeah and it's like what am i doing i mean i just feel like exploding do you stop and go (laughs) it just really irritates me or what you cooking for dinner? Why does that matter? You're gonna eat it. <laughs> You're I have, either gonna I have eat three it. Three meals that I cook. What are they? Pancakes. Pancakes. Moscacholi. Moscacholi. Spaghetti. What are you doing? Spaghetti, muscacholi, which are pretty much the same thing except a different noodle. That's correct. And um, did I say pancakes? Yeah. Okay. There we go. You also cook the classic um, McRib things. You get the ribs. Encore. No, I don't. I No, it's not. I don't get the, the Encore Salisbury steaks. Salisbury steaks. Those are very delicious with the bag of potatoes. You'll also cook what's called uh, hamburger meat and rice. Yes. Uh, that's just for him. I do not eat that. It's just minute minute man rice and hamburger. What kind of lunatic just eats rice? Actually, that is very good. I'm not going <laughs> to dog on that. I like eating rice with pretty much anything. Not with hamburger meat. Well, any kind of meat. I mean, I used to feed it to the dog. <laughs> he got the leftovers when he couldn't eat it all. Shout out to uh, Buckley, her best friend. She recently had to place him into the arms of... Uh, the Rainbow Bridge. The Rainbow Bridge. And, My son. Uh, very traumatic for her uh, and everyone that loved him because he f- truly was a therapy dog in the s- sense that he knew what was going on. There were several times I had to stay over because of a mental breakdown and he would stay with me the whole time. Yes, he was a very loving dog. Good boy. Uh, shout out to Bunky at the Rainbow Bridge. See you there, brother. Uh, oh, I hope, hope you're so. hanging out with Chico and, um, my God, the amount I of pets. Have, oh, the amount of pets we've had. Amanda Gary, Super Jim, I mean, Little Kitty, Let's see, I Tiger had... Ray. Tiger Ray! She was a good cat. But they would never, you would have their original names and then they would never be called that. So yes. Junebug eventually became who? Poopy? No, Junebug became Super Jim. Super, Super Jim. Jim Johnson. Gary be fr- became Gay Re from Old Pay Re. Yes, and his first, his real name was Hec- Hector. Hector Projecto. Yes. Andy would call him. Um, now you have Molly and you call Molly. Uh, hold on, let me think. Molly Hatchet? Molly Hatchet, because she, that's just her. Because she goes around and, and, kill, and kills everyone. <clears throat> well, fights them. 
even though she's fixed a couple of weeks ago, we had probably about 15 male cats in our yard clawing at the door for her. And she'd go out there and lay with their legs open and swirl <laughs> around. But she's been fixed. Yeah, I re- I forgot that about her. She she was fixed when I got her. She even had the little tattoo on her stomach that said she was mm-hmm. fixed. But sometimes she would act like she was in heat. And sis sent me a message that said, I was horrified to s- open the door and see Molly having sexual <laughs> It was horrible. She was just laying there, and this damn ass cat was on top of her going to town, and she's just sitting there. Well, what else is she supposed to do? I said, get on off of her. Did he? Fool. Yeah. I mean, what the hell? Right in the open? I mean, not even no privacy, just right in the middle of the porch. Well, where are they supposed to go? In a- Underneath the porch? <laughs> Underneath the car? The fact that the the I, they must have left like something inside, like an ovary or something. I don't know, man, but she was going crazy. And as soon as she stopped acting like that, there's no more cats around the house. Nature is wild. Yeah, I mean they could smell her from Ew. blocks away. I guess they were like, "Hey, hey, hey, there, Molly Hatchet." Then you have um. My, Annie's mom, who is Miss Buttons. Miss Buttons, she's an angel. And he, I've got Monty Man. Monty. And then we got uh, Poopy. Poopy. Truly a cat lady, if there ever was one. <laughs> oh, no, I'm missing a cat. And Grayson. Grayson is her I have stray. two feral cats, Miss Buttons and Grayson. And they're the, both the sweetest cats. Poor old Grayson's got to have the rest of her teeth pulled out soon. Why? What's wrong with her? She's got something called stomatitis or something. Her gums get real red. It's from being out in the wild, and she she doesn't have immunity system or something. <coughs> <laughs> she's a good girl. She, she's got a weird-looking face. She can't close her mouth all the way. She looks like this. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's when she was sick, but now she closes her mouth. All she the way. still doesn't look like she closes her oh, mouth. That's weird, it's like, huh? Poor gal. If you ha- what are you looking at? That blue blanket. How old is that thing? I think we got this one year from one year when Goodwill took gave us Christmas presents. Oh, it's that old. I think so. Is that when those people came to the door and put all those? And we were like, "What's going on?" I was mortified. It was a used blanket, though. I remember that. Like, they gave us, like, a used blanket for Christmas. They give me a new toy. Yeah, that was awful. It was big leaf bags of toys and stuff. Who signed us up for that? I guess Mom did. That was very odd. What did you get? I don't know. I just remember getting this blanket. Or a blanket like this. I don't know if this is actually The it. only Christmas gifts I really remember was my ventriloquist doll. I loved that thing. And uh, I always got art supplies. Uh, Grandma Honey always made me an Afghan blanket. Okay. Yeah. I got... Oh, art. and you always got the cool dude makeup boxes from like Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder? That's where she got those from, from the mall. You! The big collection. Those were not from Estee Lauder. Those were, like, from Kmart. No, they were not. They were from, like, Who got them? Mother got them for you. No, I never got Estee Lauder. Yeah, you did. Never did. like, Clinique or... Yes, you did. No, never did. Kmart ones, no. No, from Venture. From Venture. No. No. Walmart, Target. I never had quality makeup. No, everybody. She had the mall makeup. Ventures. Wow. <laughs> wow. Remember V Dial Shashun shampoo? Yeah. Boy, that smelled good. I'm trying to think of something because I was going <sighs> to. Something to do with the program, but I, I don't know if I did it right now that I'm thinking about it. It makes me kind of mad. What program? There's a program. It's um, an editing program, and now they have like a podcast thing where it will take the the audio file and the video file and split it up so when you're talking it'll show you and and then show me it's basically self edits oh wow mm. but i think i have to have two different audio files and i don't, I don't know how to do that stuff i think i'm supposed to do it on record it on my computer which i forgot about so that's all right 
<laughs> Will it be showing both of us or just back and forth? Back and forth. Okay. Back and forth. Back and forth. Which is what I've wanted, but it takes many, many hours to edit like that. Yeah. Who's got time for that? Oh, wow. Mag- Mag- McGeary commented. Ray. Who? Ray. Oh, I love Ray. I've never actually said his last name out loud. Mick Gehere. Have you ever said it? Well, maybe he doesn't want it said out loud. Maybe he just Well, if he doesn't make... want it, then he wouldn't have that as his Instagram name. Well, maybe he just wants to be known as The Ray. Well. Shout out to Ray. <laughs> I love Ray. I do, too. Known Ray since Vine. Never met him. Wish He's he'd come so to the show. But he won't. Well, it's the COVID. He, you know, he doesn't want to get sick. Don't blame him. <laughs> we ain't got time for COVID. Do you want to do some shout outs? Because I think we're about ready to wrap this up. Oh, it's already time to go. Yeah. We're going to cut this off and do a, a 10 minute Patreon post. Uh, do I do mute to it music? Do you want some music? Like, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of people. Shout out to Freddie and Karen. Who? Freddie and Karen. Who's that? You don't need to know. They're my friends. Imaginary friends. Um, I don't think who else? Uh, shout out to Grand Funk Railroad Band. Okay. Is that who we listen to today? Yep. Yeah. Um, shout out to Lizzo, how she dances and sings all at the same time. For Amazing. Hours. Amazing. Uh, oh, shout out to Jeremy. Dolce? Yes. He's amazing. Uh, shout out to, let's see, who else do I know? Uh, I think that's probably about it. No more shout outs? No, I, I uh, uh, no, that's it. I think that's all the people I know. He's driving down in. the streets from Nashville. <sighs> Who's that, Meatloaf? No. When we sing this song, we always say wherever we are. Driving down the streets of Nashville. Or wherever we are. Who? So me and Tina. Oh, okay. So when we were in Austin, we would say, Driving down the streets of Austin. Austin. Driving down the streets of KC. KC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Driving down the streets of Driving yeah, down yeah, the streets yeah, yeah. of Paris, France. Did you watch my episode last week where I got electrocuted by a clock? I watched most of it. So I must, is that from the, what you call it? The, the Tweety Bird clock. Yes. No, I didn't see that part and I'm glad I did. No, because I shut it off because I thought you were going to start talking something about your sexy time and I wanted to cut it off. off. Well, remember I asked you, I said, are you going to be talking nasty? Because I wanted Aww. to turn it off. I don't think I was talking. I try not to talk nasty on here. <clears throat> and I texted you and you never responded, so I didn't want to listen well, to the rest like of it. Well, I don't like texting people <laughs> back, you know. It sh- yeah, there was a piece of wire that had exposed wire. And it, I put my arm on it and it went, zzz, and I went, nah. I go, whoa. Well, we're going to sue funny. the manufacturer. Well, I mean, it's from 1996, so I don't know who's to sue. I, when I used to sew, I sewed car seats. Oh, uh-huh. And every time I would press the pedal to the sewing machine, I'd be like, eh, 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 and I'm like, man, there's just, I mean, this went on for like weeks. I get like a vibrate. And there was like a electrical wire, like <laughs> uncovered. And then it was like touching. <laughs> so I was getting like electrocuted. Like, every, I'm like, man, it's my numbs. My legs getting numb. When did they finally discover it? I don't know. Yeah. You know, I'm sure they tried to cover it up. You know, you could have been killed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I sewed car seats for Mazda. Whoa. And we all, um, I sewed like one piece and it went around and it's like a piece deal. Where was this? Cape Girardeau? Cape Girardeau. Cur- and then I, look, remember that's that when I, I, we always had those team, those team meetings before. We were like in a circle, 
and this girl was giving me a funny look. I said, why are you looking at me with, like, you got one good eye? And everybody just stopped, dead silent, and she had a fake eye, and I didn't know it. And everybody hated me after that. Why would you speak up like that? It was just one of my impulsive things, you know, when you just say stuff. I mean, they're like, she has a, she has a glass eye. Well, she shouldn't <laughs> have been looking at you like she had one glass <laughs> eye then. She should have looked at you regular. Everybody hated me after that. I think I was out of there pretty quickly after that. They're like, yeah, she's intolerant of people with one eye. <laughs> Did she turn around and look at you? Oh, I mean, it went dead silent. Did you go, what? Yeah, that's what I was doing. What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Terrible. Wow. Now sis is intolerant of people with <laughs> one eye. That's really something. <laughs> but you know I'm not. But I mean, you know. Raspberry beret. She thinks that's lime green, and I think it's vanilla yellow. I need to look it up. It's not yellow. It's a, a green, like a pale green. And they had pastel. Pastel. Oh, maybe it's a pastel yellow. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Well, I was looking at that pig with the um, handkerchief around his neck. Driving down the streets. Meh. I have some new things from tour to put here, but I have, of course, I'm not organized enough to have done that. That's okay. All right, we're going to uh, shut her down now because we're going to do a Patreon only episode. Ooh, Patreon. Patreon is for people is that who the want to thing? pay five or ten dollars. Oh. No, that's OF. Oh. The nudie thing. Patreon is they can pay five dollars or ten. Ooh. Bye-bye. Bye. Whoa, spooky. <laughs>